My homeworks are fairly traditional problem sets delivered online using a platform provided by the textbook publisher. Which one isn't important? Most can do the same things. Here are some things that I do that I think work well. I have two problem sets each week rather than one. This encourages students to work throughout the week rather than do all their physics in one day. It also allows me to assign more problems. I typically give six or seven in each set, but I don't think students would complete them as well if I gave a single assignment with 12 or more problems. Each assignment has a few relatively easy questions. This gives students a morale boost and helps them stay motivated to do the more challenging ones. I set the system to give students six tries on each question with no penalty for mistakes. This encourages students to keep trying but reduces the pressure to look up answers online before beginning. I allow students to turn in the homework late with a penalty of 10% per day. Again, this encourages students to keep trying. Perfect should not be the enemy of the good. I drop the two lowest scores for each student. This isn't a problem with more than 25 assignments per semester. Anyone can have a bad day. And this acknowledges that I understand the difficulties my students face. Finally, I put one of the homework problems from the beginning of the semester on the first test. Students need to see that during the, doing the homework, not copying it, is essential. I'll do this once more during the semester. I assign at least one homework problem between each class, with a few due in a more traditional set over a longer time frame. Some of the problems assigned cover topics before we get to them in class, which gets the students to read the material, even if it's hunting for the correct equation. I've also started assigning reading questions, not deep philosophical questions, but fairly straightforward reading comprehension style questions, again, before the class in which we discuss the reading. This all helps get past the cold introduction, since I know the students have at least scanned the text and worked on the problems, so they're familiar with the variables and what they represent, et cetera. This allows me to get right into the concepts and help students make sense of the material, which I think is what my job is in this class, rather than to restate what the textbook says. The students are initially not big fans of the idea, but then they realize that it forces them to keep up with the material throughout the semester. And they often mention it quite positively in their course evaluations, including their own change of heart over time. 